I'm here at Millbury where I caught up with Gordy Reid to chat all things Super 6, Ayrshire Bulls and his rugby journey so far. Can you tell us a little bit about your first memories of playing rugby and how it all began? Here at Ayr, um, I started when I was 12. I tried all kind of sports from uh, karate to boxing to roller hockey to street hockey to ice hockey to uh, athletics to everything and I just didn't really seem that kind of impressed with it, I didn't really like it. Uh, came, tried the rugby, yeah I, was, I wasn't really the best rugby player um, and I just kind of worked at it and I got a wee bit better each time I came here and I liked the process of um, yeah coming here and passing about a ball with some of your mates and um, I really enjoyed it so I just stuck at it with there. I got I got to probably about 17. Uh, I I had a job when I was 15 um, all the way through and then I then realised again I, I didn't think I could kind of make it and then everything just changed. I just had a thought, I said I could I could do pretty well at this. I could do pretty well. Um, and then started doing my extra sessions, extra passing sessions uh, myself, getting a, a, a tyre and passing it through it, um, and just different things like fitness wise, going to athletics um, and doing stuff like that, which um, I thought was going to improve my rugby. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I just I got to probably about 17 and I said, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to get a good crack. First professional contract with the Warriors, how did that come come about? Yeah, well I I, uh, I was a part-time with Warriors, I was at Air, and then I was part-time with Warriors, training probably two days a week. I had my own business at the time, I was a French polisher, uh, so I, antique restoration, so I'd done that. Also, I also worked behind the bar, <laughs> at um, the local bar um, in Presswick, um, the Red Lion it was called at the time. Um, and I worked there, and I also had some other jobs, so I was literally doing maybe three, four jobs just to try and get that money in so I could then play rugby at the weekends and uh, do this other stuff uh, with Glasgow. Um, so I tried everything from tyre fitting to roofing to joinery to in you can think of. I worked in b and I worked in everywhere uh, to try and get the funds. Uh, a delivery company too, I tried to do that. So I'd done it all to try and um, to try and go there for rugby to try and like, Again, I'm not from the, the kind of wealthiest background, so um, yeah, it was only me to get the money, so I had to then work work hard. And in terms of your rugby career, stay with Glasgow Warriors, what was your kind of highlight from playing for the Warriors? Um, possibly playing, playing my first game was great. Um, I played against Adam Jones, um, against Ospreys. He was playing Ospreys for the time, and he was just a British line, and I played for there. And I was only young at the time. And I hit the scrum and the, fun, the first thing was his hair was in my face and I just started laughing in the scrum. So you can imagine Adam Jones, at, at his time the best the best prop in the world, playing for the British Lions and I was scrummaging against him. Um, and I was I was a young boy from here, um, a bit overweight, still am, but I wanted to ask for his autograph there and then when I hit the scrum, talking to him because all, all he was doing was something about a carry on. He knew I was just a young boy and he, he could have me up in the air and yeah he, he it was it was it was it was cool it was cool to play against one of your your kind of the legends of the game as such um, I thought it was just it was great and then from from then you obviously made your Scotland debut <coughs> in the in the US was that is that a career highlight making the debut or is, have you got other Scotland memories that stick out more um yeah well that that one was really important to me um <coughs> because yeah, just growing up, it was great. It was just to play for Scotland was 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 a highlight. But the, the most the highlight was was getting my mum and dad because they they couldn't afford to come over to uh, Texas, and um, they couldn't afford the, the flight over and to stay over there, which was was a bit of kick in the teeth because my mum and dad would watch me all the way through. Um, so the only other chestnuts down in there, um, it's a hotel down there. So him and my agent Sandy at the time, they they just had a conversation. And they paid for my, my wife, my uh, mum and my dad to come over, which was really special because they seen me play my first cap. Yeah, I got my cap, but it wasn't all about that. It was just about my family getting yeah. to see me too. I like just having fun. I like uh, I like being myself. I like, um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm myself, so why be anybody else? Um, I do like uh, putting a couple of videos out there, a bit of, a bit of fun. And you're having a nice stroll in the field. and. You feel like you've been followed. Hey, we use what I do. 
a lot, a lot, of, a lot of things about this mental health and. Um, a lot of people talking about it and I think if you put some funny videos out there and uh, people laugh I think that's a great a great cure for for a lot of um, a lot of things out there so um, yeah I just put together some videos and they just come out just at the top of my head and I, I fire them out there and um, if it makes people laugh it makes people laugh if it kind of annoys people well don't watch it then and what have you made of the, the Super 6 so far? Um, I think I think uh, there's a lot of um, good talent coming through. Um, a lot of, you can see it in all the teams to be honest. Um, and I think that's that can only be beneficial for Scottish Rugby. Um, trying to play a higher standard, trying to create a couple of um, more professional teams, uh, I think could only be, only be great for Scottish Rugby. And do you think that Ayrshire Bulls are in a position to win the tournament? I think it's going to be challenging, um, but I think there's a lot of great teams in this league and um, I think we've got the, the strength and depth in a lot of positions and boys coming back from injury, I think um, we could definitely put up a good fight.